A reward for honesty. Once upon a time, in a small village far away, lived Vincent. Vincent was an honest man and a skilled painter. He painted walls, boats, and houses, and did his work with honesty and diligence. Vincent, I have a fence to be painted. It has to be done soon, or it will rust. All right, I will start right away. But, but there is a problem. I cannot pay you more than two pieces of copper. I understand it is two less, but this is all I have. If the fence gets rusted, then it would cost me more. I understand your trouble, madam. And to paint is my duty. One must never say no to work. Vincent was a very poor man. There were nights when he would go to bed hungry. No matter what, he never asked for more from his customers. He would work hard all day and be satisfied with whatever he earned. One fine day, a rich businessman came for a visit. He and his family had planned for a short stay in the village. The businessman entered the village in the most expensive cart, and many more carts followed him. They were full of fruits and clothes. The villagers stood in awe as the entire procession passed right in front of them. The following day, the businessman called for Vincent. As Vincent walked to the businessman's house, he met his friend Tom. Hey, Vincent, where are you going? Hello, Tom. I am going to the businessman's house. He has some work for me. Is it? Listen, he is a very wealthy man. This is a good opportunity. You must charge him more than what you usually charge others. It's only fair. And I am sure he won't mind paying you. No, Tom, it's not fair. I can't charge him more than what I charge others. That's cheating. If he likes my work, then he can decide to pay me more. But I have to be honest and tell him the right price. <sighs> I am your friend, Vincent, and I respect your honesty. But honesty alone cannot feed you. You work so hard. But people in this village will never have enough money to pay you. Take my advice. You should ask for at least five pieces of gold for the work he has for you. Five pieces of gold? No, I have never charged five pieces of gold to anyone. I understand your concern, my friend, and thank you for caring about me. But I have been doing just fine with whatever I earn. Well, I did my part. It's up to you now. Vincent waved goodbye to his friend and walked ahead. He understood that Tom only wanted the best for him. As Vincent entered the gate of the businessman's house, he was mesmerized. It was nothing less than a palace. Oh, hello! You must be Vincent, the painter. Yes, I am, sir. You had some work for me. Oh yes. The caretaker for my boat has gone out. He will be back only by tomorrow afternoon. But I need to get the boat painted. Will you be able to paint it by tonight? Yes, I can. Where is the boat? I will get started right away. Oh, but you never told me how much it will cost me. I charge four pieces of copper to paint a boat. I cannot charge you less than that. <laughs> Four pieces of copper? That's it? Well, I would never pay you a penny less than what you charge. You can have your four pieces of copper right away. The boat is near the river. Call me when it's done. Vincent took the money. He went to the market and bought paint. And without wasting another minute, he walked towards the river. As he was about to begin, he saw that the boat had a big hole right in the center. Oh, this can be dangerous! I should fill this up first. Vincent filled up the hole and began to paint. He worked for hours without food. Finally, the boat was painted. He left and called the businessman to see the boat. Oh, this is wonderful! You work well, Vincent. Here. Take these four pieces of silver. You deserve it. If I have anything else to paint, I will call you at once. 
You are a generous man, sir. I shall take your leave now. The next morning, the businessman's family went for a ride in the boat. The businessman waved goodbye to them at the river and went back home. As he reached, he saw the boat's caretaker walking towards him. Sir, you are here a week early. Oh yes, my family insisted to come see the village. They just left for the first trip in the boat. What? No, we have to call them back right now. Why are you so worried? I called the best rower to row them around the village. Everything is going to be fine. You don't understand, sir. The boat has a hole right in the center. Your family will drown. I was going to repair it today. What? No, my wife, my kids. The businessman and the caretaker rushed to the river, but the boat was nowhere to be seen. They searched for hours. James, Lily, Madam, can you hear us? But there was no response. The businessman knelt there and cried. <laughs> What have I done, my family? I should have never let them on that boat. <laughs> Just as he sat there blaming himself, his wife and kids returned in the same boat. What happened, my dear? Why are you crying? You are all safe. Oh, I was so worried. There was a big hole in the boat. I thought I have lost all of you. There was no hole in the boat, sir. It's as good as new. I am so glad you are all safe. But I don't understand how that is possible. I know for a fact that there was a big hole right in the center of the boat. I didn't get a chance to repair it before I left. Who repaired it? The businessman thought for a while. He then understood what had happened and immediately sent to call Vincent the painter. Vincent came to the businessman's house. Vincent, take this, my friend. What is this? This is your reward. A hundred pieces of gold. What? Reward for what? Reward for your honesty and hard work. You saved my family's life, Vincent. You filled up the hole in the boat. That was not your job, and you didn't even charge me more for that. But, sir, a hundred pieces of gold is too much for filling a tiny hole in a boat. A hundred pieces of gold is nothing compared to the lives that you have saved, Vincent. Take it. Vincent could not believe his fate. Till yesterday, he was a painter who could earn just enough to survive, and today he owned gold. From that day on, Vincent never slept on an empty stomach, for he had earned the reward for his honesty. The end. <laughs>